Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is operating leads according to the US GAAP. I FRS, we don't have operating leads anymore. Okay? So, for accounting purpose, we classify leads as finance leads for uh, when we are talking about lessees, so finance leads and operating leads. For lessor sales type leads, that is the finance leads and operating leads. By the way, we have a video about finance leads and the video is in our video description. So how does operating leads work? So let's go to our Excel file. And so let's delete it here, delete it there. And let's delete it here and here. Let's move dash around here and, and now we're good. So, let's check here. On January 1st, 2020, Scarping Corporation leases production of equipment from first lease. Corp, first this Corp purchased the equipment from Santiago Corporation at a cost of $479,000 and something. The lease agreement specifies four annual payments of $100,000 beginning January 1st, 2020, the beginning of lease. The estimated user for life is six years and the interest rate for in this finance arrangement is 10%. So first of all, let's check why it is operating lease. We don't have bargain purchase option here. Uh, our user for life is more than our payments. And let's check if our present value is quite close to the, uh, to the value or to the fair value of the asset. So let's come here, formulas, present value. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not to be, to be here, it's here. By the way, if you have problems with present value and amortization schedule, that is this one, we also have videos about present value and amortization schedule, and they are in our video description too, as well as this Excel file. All our Excel files, they are on uh, they are free and they are available on the video description. So rates, 10%. Number of periods for years, PMT, negative 100. Type 1, first payment is at the beginning of our lease. So 348, quite lower than 479. So we are talking about operating lease. And our debit, uh, so when we are purchasing, Debit, right of use, asset, credit, lease, payable. And this is our amortization schedule for payments of $100,000, interest expense, and the reduction of obligation. So here at the year one, so year zero, debit, lease, lease obligation, or lease payable. Let's change here to lease payable. And credit cash. So here one, we have interest. So interest, 24, lease payable, 75, cash, 100. And at the end of our third year, our lease obligation will be zero. So why at the end of third year if our lease is four years? Because the first payment is at the purchase or at the lease, when the lease starts. So we have this starts in year one, and year two, and year three. Okay? And that's it. And then, amortization of right of use asset. Here, we don't account the, uh, based, the amortization based on, uh, on useful life. So, we are not based on six years because it is not a finance lease. It's a is only uh, an operating lease. So amortization expense will be the reduction of obligation. So at year one, 
75, so at year 0, it will be 100, and so on. So it goes here, just like our lease payable. So write off use asset and lease payable, they will have the same, uh, they will have the same ending balance always. Okay, so when we combine interest expense and amortization expense, we have the $100,000. So for our net income, it will be the same. However, operating income, it will change because uh, amortization expense is an operating expense, interest expense, it is not. So it is not just like a rent expense that would be uh, operating expenses or a bit also. So both expenses here, they are not all a bit however, rent expense is. But we have some changes in the subtotals, but the net income remains the same. For the lesser, we don't, we are not uh, selling the equipment. We will not sell it. So we will not take this equipment out of the lesser accounting. So January 1st, when we receive our first payment, cash deferred revenue. December 31st, deferred revenue, lease revenue. From January 1st, lease payment. So from this payment here, we do the revenue recognition here. And then cash deferred revenue from December 31st lease and the depreciation expense and the accumulated depreciation based on useful life and based on 479. Only because our, uh, our equipment, they remain in the lesser accounting. Okay? So, operating is a little bit different than financially uh, both, for both, for lessee and for the lesser. Guys, please subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And we are uploading a lot of new videos. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin at gmail.com. Like this video if you want to. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpin. Have a very nice day and God bless you.